Hey, it's Tony Fonte. How you doing? I make the spiritual awakening journey fun. Today's message, I want to talk about the wounded masculine. More specifically, how the wounded masculine thinks that it is weak if they share how they feel. I'm going to go into the message as well as the story that inspired this message as well. So don't go nowhere. I'll be right back. Welcome back. We're going to dive right into the message of the wounded masculine and thinking that it is weak if they share how they feel. Here we go. Recently, actually, the, the wounded masculine just came to me. I was actually having a conversation with someone um, that we were talking and I was sharing about some fears and some insecurities. And we were actually finally communicating. <laughs> well, that's it. We were finally communicating and I was sharing some of these fears and insecurities that I had. And she says to me, why didn't you, I, had, I never knew that. Why didn't you share that with me? I said, because I was fucking afraid. I was afraid to share. And I said, I said, I believed and felt that if I shared that with you, if I shared my insecurities, if I shared my worries, my fears, that you would think I was weak and you would run, you would leave. And she says, Oh, that must be a wounded masculine thing because I felt the same thing and it hit me. I was like, oh my God, that's it. So thank you. You know who you are for the inspiration on this part of it, the, the wounded masculine. Now I was wanting to share this being afraid of being in the shadow too long and, and being afraid of being vulnerable. And you might be saying, especially if you've seen some of my other videos and posts, Tony, you, you, you are pretty vulnerable. Yes, but I would only go so deep. And I think I've shared this before too in other videos, and especially in, in intimate relationships, man, to be that open, whoa. And, and depending on the generational stuff, wounds that you're holding on to and the childhood wounds that you're holding on to and both of you are holding on to, that makes it even more challenging to communicate these fears and these insecurities. So, I, I was talking about being afraid to share insecurities, being afraid of, of sharing my fears and these worries. And I realized that that's what the wounded masculine does. It is afraid to share because we are conditioned, man or woman, because we both have those energies with, within us, but especially men. Men are conditioned, you don't fucking show emotion. You can show anger, you can be laugh, but you don't fucking show insecurity. You don't show when you, you feel threatened. You don't threaten because you're of an insecurity. You don't show fear, you don't show sadness, none of that because you're weak. And that, and we're seeing this is very prevalent right now in the mental health of men, but especially women as well, because that patriarchal wound, that, that, that wounded masculine has been passed on to them as well. And they have this struggle as well, feeling weak to be vulnerable. In order to really open up, well, first you got to communicate. You got to be able to communicate and face those fears and face those insecurities and face sharing how you feel and sharing your needs with your partner or any relationship, really. Not just intimate, but that is that is a, a, a key relationship is to communicate. And yes, at first, again, it, it may be scary to do so. But if you really want what you want, if you really want a, a, a awakened, conscious, committed, loving relationship, no matter what, what you want to become, who you want to become, if you want that ideal, you're going to have to take steps toward being that. And when you do that, you're going to face these fears. You're going to face these, 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 these challenges, these wounds of the old self. But the more you do it and the more you just feel through it, you release it. And you become that person more and more. And you create that relationship more and more. You become that partner that you desire more and more. Whatever area of your life. But I'm talking about this wounded masculine piece in relationships. It is not weak to share how you feel. It is not weak to share that you're scared. It is not weak to share your insecurities. It is not weak to express your needs. That takes fucking courage. That's strength. That is true strength. Being fucking fully open and saying, here's all of me. Here is all of me. Here is my light and here is my fucking shadow. And I'm so scared, but I'm willing 
to open up to you. Do you realize how beautiful and magical that is for both of you? In any relationship? Whew! It creates this trust. It creates this safety. To know that you're being held in that moment, as scared as you are. And you know what? Some people aren't going to be able to handle it, and that's okay. Continue. And de again, depending how wounded both of you are, you're going to have some clumsy dancing. You're going to step on each other's toes. You're going to trip. You're going to fall. You're going to have missteps. You're going to drop each other. But if you're committed to who you want to become in a relationship, and if you're committed to having that relationship, having a committed relationship, or not just a committed, but a healthy, awakened relationship, and you're committed to the process and journey of having that, you're going to have to move into that and become that. You're going to have to become the person and communicate what you need, your fears, your desires, all of it, especially the fears and insecurities not weak and when you do that you're actually opening up and you're healing the wounded masculine and you're opening up to the divine masculine within which embraces is consciously present to the divine feminine within which allows you to be present with the divine feminine on the outside as well if you like help on this journey of how to feel through that, to be able to express your needs, to express your fears, to express your insecurities in your relationship, begin becoming that which you want to be, you desire to be, you intend to be, reach out and I'll help you on the journey. Hope this resonated with you. Make sure that you let me know what stood out to you, what resonated with you, what gave you that, <sighs> moment and make sure if you haven't already to subscribe hit that bell notificator to be notified of new videos as well as make sure that you share this with those who if it resonates of course share it with someone that you know can benefit from it you know the person that just popped in your mind as you're watching this video i'll see you next episode of the laughing through life show peace